you thought it was over. You thought it was done. So did I. But here's another Universal Yums box, and this one's from Turkey. Okay, first one is Grape Sujuk. If one of your New Year's resolutions is to try new things, this snack is a great way for you to get started. Sujuk means sausage in Turkish, hence the unique shape, but you won't find any meat in here. Sweet sujuk is made from grapes, molasses, and walnuts. Traditionally, walnuts are halved and placed on a string. The string is then dipped in sweet grape juice three separate times and hung in the sun for five to six days to dry before being consumed. Sujuk has been around for centuries, and even to this day, it's a beloved Middle Eastern treat typically consumed during New Year's. Oh. However, you might want to save it for the next month to give it to your valentine. On the top, it's labeled as an aphrodisiac. Let's get started! It looks exactly as it is described. A sausage of grape juice and walnuts. Oh, I do not like that texture. It's like this isn't supposed to be edible. Let me get some of the walnuts in there. Oh, oh! I hate that texture. Mm-mm. Uh Mm-mm. -uh. Uh -uh. I don't like it. I don't like it. The taste isn't bad. It's okay. But that texture, it's like old gummy bears. That was worse than the peanut squid balls. Okay, let's very quickly move on to the next one. I was not expecting that to be that bad. <laughs> Ulker pizza crackers. Pizzas in Turkey are called lamakun. I, I, I have no idea how to speak Turkish. And they couldn't be more different from our cheesy doughy slices. Thin, crispy dough that resembles a cracker is used as the base. It's topped with minced beef or lamb. Okay. Red pepper paste, onions, and herbs, and baked in a hot stone oven very briefly. Before serving, it's sprinkled with lemon juice and parsley. So which kind of pizza is responsible for flavoring these crackers? We'll leave that for you to find out. The ingredients have nothing about beef or lamb. They're like little breadstick, which I guess is how they described it. Okay. I like that. It's not fabulous. I think I'll stick with my uh, pizza fishies, but that is pretty good. Down Keck Eight Orange Cake. Keck or cake is a popular snack item in Turkey. They fill their keck with bananas, caramel, dried fruits, dates, raisins, and oranges. We had one bite and we were instantly hooked on this chocolatey orange treat, which surprisingly tastes like an orange creamsicle. As an extra bonus, the cake is molded to look like the number eight. So after you've eaten every yummy morsel, you can be extra impressed by what you just ate. Eight. Looks like the number eight, I guess. I noticed while editing my last videos that I said that's pretty good for basically everything that I ate. <laughs> so I'm trying to come up with a new vocabulary. I like that. It's got half of it is like a chocolate cake with like looks like chocolate fudge in it. Um, the other half is orange with like an orange cream. I like that. Koska Susam Krokan. Halva, which was included in last year's box from Israel, 
gets all the attention as the famous sesame snack from the Middle East, but we'd like to mention this sesame, Krokan, as a runner-up. Straight from Istanbul, this authentic snack is sure to please, especially if you're a fan of halva. If you're not, we still think you'll go nuts, pun intended, for this Turkish brittle made with real sugar and hundreds of tiny sesame seeds. Okay. Mm. Mm. It's a little bit bitter. I don't care for that one too much. It wasn't atrocious like the sujuk. Mastic gum. This is the most famous gum in Turkey, but when you first take a bite, you may wonder why. Oh, great. <laughs> the gum has a harder consistency than gum in the U.S., and the pine ginger flavor can be off-putting to some. But here's why you should give it a chance. One. Mastic gum is 100% naturally flavored from the resin of mastic trees. Two, it's sugar-free and can last for hours with full flavor. Three, it's not only dentist recommended because it can prevent tooth decay and gingivitis, it's also recommended by doctors because it's scientifically proven to prevent ulcers and lower cholesterol. Oh, okay. Four, on the inside of each wrapper, there's a Turkish fortune. That's got to be our favorite part. Ooh, cool. What's it say? What's it say? Aha. <laughs> Get the right wrapper. That helps. Obviously, it's in Turkish. I don't know why I thought it would be in English. Okay. It literally tastes like nothing. It tastes like I'm eating gum that has lost all of its flavor. Oh, there comes the pine. Uh, I don't like it. Let me try to hold this up for you to read it. It's something like Tore de ne diacek sonra isyan edecek Senile Olmak Ichin Kurialari Telecek. With a uh, Google Translate, which is always right and never wrong ever, says, Nor honor to say, then he will revolt to be with you to pierce rules. Boom! Mic dropped. There's my fortune. This next one I am quite excited about. It is a uh, Nutimax Hazelnut Cream. Turkey sure does know how to do chocolate. These crunchy chocolatey biscuits are filled with one of Turkey's largest exports, hazelnuts. 80% of the world's hazelnuts are from Turkey. In a small village in Turkey, where many of the hazelnuts are grown, there was once a storm that halted production of Nutella worldwide. The horror! Oh! Fortunately, everything is back to normal, and you get to enjoy not just one, but two delicious hazelnut-filled bars in each pack. You could even spare one to share, but we would totally understand if you don't. Okay, that one is very broken, so we will <laughs> we will show this one. Mm. It has a wafer in it. Oh, it tastes like crunchy Nutella. Oh, that's good. Like that one. So this next one is made by Ulker, which also made the eight cake and the pizza. The Albany biscuit. With a shortbread cookie base, smooth caramel middle, and milk chocolate coating, this popular Turkish cookie reminds us of a Twix bar. 
I love Twix bars. That's my favorite. Little known fact, the company that makes Albini biscuits also makes Godiva chocolates. I cannot see anything wrong with this. This is going to be the best thing that my mouth has ever experienced. Doo -doo -doo. Mm. It's a lot like a Twix with less caramel and the cookie is a bit softer. It's not as like crunchy. To me it has a hint of coconut in it. I will definitely finish that. Mm. Toffix Fruit Chews. If you're a fan of chewy fruit candy, we just found your next addiction. The soft chewy... Um, the soft fruit chews have a white exterior with a colorful filling in the center made from real fruit juice. Chew to your heart's content on the following flavors. Cherry, grape, strawberry, orange, apple, watermelon, and the very descriptive tropical. I got orange and watermelon. It looks like a little mint. That's good. Mm. I like it. Ooh. That's really good. I was a little off put by the fact that when I bit into it, this like jelly squirted out. So that was a little weird. Which I don't know why I wasn't expecting that, seeing as it is. The uh, center filled watermelon. I really like that. I need to let my cat in because she's ruining my video. Blonde! Come here! Come here, blonde! <laughs> this one is the epitome of catness. Catness. Catness of a dude. This one is the epitome of a cat. She ignores you when you call to her. She wants attention when she wants it, and when she's done, she is done. Like, if you pet her once too many times, she will nip you. <laughs> Fun fact about Brooklyn's life with cats. She's the cutest, though. Oh, come here. Come here. You're actually going to come up? You guys are in for a rare treat. Let me, let me, let me. So this has been Foreign Foods from Turkey. I've also done two others. This one will take you to the British Isles, and this one will take you to South Korea. So if you want to go on a trip to me sitting in my bedroom in this exact same spot. Uh, go ahead and click those annotations if you want to check those out. Um, in case you haven't uh, noticed, I am wearing a Jacksepticeye hat and I started an Etsy shop. So if you want to check that out, there will be a link in the description that will take you to my Etsy shop. So thank you so much for... <laughs> Thank you dudes so much for watching. If you liked this video, punch that like button in the face like a boss and high fives all around. Whoosh, whoosh. Thank you guys and I'll see you dudes in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.